here and they look like Pat from SNL. Uh, I one time signed something while I was talking and sometimes like when you're writing something you sign um, what you're saying. So I was like yeah 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 and then we started talking about like Beyonce or something. Sorry. <laughs> Let me finish this one and then I'll finish the story so I don't write, so I don't do exactly what I'm about to tell you I did. Alright. There you go, Anthony. That is yours. So I'll get that. I didn't break it, I swear to God. <laughs> um, anyway, so the story was, I basically, we were talking about, like, Beyonce or something, I was signing his, like, print, and it's his item, too, because if it's my item and I mess it up, I can just give you another one, but if it's your, like, collector's item from home, I do not want to mess that up. So I looked down, and I realized it was a Sailor Moon, like, a big Sailor Moon print he had, like, I think from the 90s, like, it was a collector's item, and I had written Sailor Beyonce instead of Sailor Jupiter. So, uh, and... If it's not a Funko, you can't erase it. If it's a Funko or anything with plastic, you can put uh, alcohol on it, like rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer, and it wipes it off. So you can, you know, fix your mistakes. But on that one, I was like, ah, there's nothing I can do. And he was super cool about it, thankfully. I don't remember where I met him. I think it might have been in Florida. So if I'm, ever, if I'm ever at a Florida con, he would come by and he'd be like, hey, say the Beyonce. So thankfully, he had a good sense of humor about it. But I do not want to mess up your items, so I'm going to try and focus it when I'm actually signing. So let's hit complete. Where there, 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 next one. This one is a Toko print for Ultimate Aspiring VA Daryl. And I did read your quote or your um, little anecdote about when we met at Dragon Con, and I really appreciate all the kind words. And I'll be at MomoCon. I, mean, I don't know if you're in Atlanta, but I'm I'm going to be at MomoCon. And uh, who is the host is inviting me to go to live together? Aren't I the host? Wait, what am I doing? What? I don't know. What do I hit? Whoa, it disappeared. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what's happening. It's my first time doing TikTok Live. Can you tell? I'm a mess. All right. So here's the Toko print. This one was commissioned by the incredible Helion White. Um, you'll find them on Twitter at, like, at Helion White. So H-E-L-L-Y-O-N White. Um, and she also did my Junko print and my Sailor Jupiter print. So you'll see all of those in their incredible art. All right. So this one, also I should probably look at the comments real quick. Um, what tips do I have on becoming a voice actor? Uh, I have not visited Ireland, but I have always wanted to, and I will probably once things calm down a little bit with air travel and whatnot. But uh, yeah, uh, tips for becoming a voice actor. We get this question a lot, and it's kind of hard to answer because it's different for everybody. You know, some people came from a theater background. Some people came from a... Uh, Wait, I think people are trying to request to join your live. What are you doing? Don't link. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> I'm probably I'm like that old woman who like accepts those scams where they're like, "Hi, I'm a Nigerian prince. P please wire me ten thousand dollars. I need your help." And the woman's like, "Oh, I gotta help him. He's a prince." I feel like that's me being like, "Should I accept the the link?" Um, I've got this chaotic energy, and I feel like it's probably overwhelming you guys. All right. So she wants, this is a long one, so it might, it might take me an extra second to focus. Let me make sure the paint pen works. All right. So, let me see, do you want your name on it? Are you here, Daryl? If you are, let me know. If not, for now, I will put, uh, I will put it, uh, <laughs> I'll put it on at the end if you're here and you're like, yes, please put my name on it. All right, so the quote is, from Toko, from I believe Ultra Despair Girls. It says, just looking at you frustrates me. Which is a very Toko thing to say, by the way. I kind of like, I mean, I don't necessarily want to be a misanthrope, but I do kind of appreciate uh, that she just is like, I just want people to leave me alone. Everybody just drives me insane. So, uh, she has no problem telling me that. She's good with boundaries, except with um, Biakia. She needs to see a therapist about that. All right, so the next line is, you remind me of myself in the past. I'm also saying it out loud so I don't forget it. Ooh, 
Boop. Um, okay, this is, this is a longer one, guys. It's like a paragraph. All right. Uh, and I will get back to your question about how to become a voice actor. I've just got like, Daryl in the chat. Let's go. Sure, you want your name on it? All right, let's do it. Let's see, let's see was it two R's or one? Two R's. Okay. All right. No matter how scary the situation was, You can't die in the middle of me doing things. I'm working. I have another one. Don't worry. I just have too many pens, though, is the problem. I don't know where to find it. I see purple. I see one. And I think I saw somebody asking earlier uh, what color I usually send the Funkos in. Uh, for boards, I tend to do, oh, uh, well, I messed up, so I'll have to erase it and do it again. Sorry, Anthony. I smudged it while it was still wet. Um, so, usually I do, like, a baby blue because it matches the eye, but I've also done, like, yellow, um, red, I mean, whatever color you want, frankly, but, uh, and when you go on Streamly, you can put special requests, like, I'd like it in this paint pen, or I'd like my name on it, or I don't want my name on it, or can you make it out to my cousin, or whatever. So... Let's make sure this one's working. Mm -mm -mm. So no matter how scary the situation was, Makoto faced it head on. And move forward. Almost done, guys. Forward. Thanks to that, I'm alive today. So I actually think after the signing, I'm going to give you another one and do it again because I don't like the, the way the second purple looked. So I'm going to try and use a different purple when I find it. But in the meantime, this is what it will look like when I do it the right way afterwards. Sorry, Daryl. But I will give it to you. That sounded vaguely threatening. Um, all right. Let me make sure I have another purple on hand before I sign in purple next time. I believe that is working. If you've ever had somebody sign in paint pen at a con, you'll know that they're very finicky because it's literally just like paint in a tube. So sometimes they'll do a really fun thing and just explode on your print. So that's fun. But luckily that was a print that I have myself. So um, yeah, so I can give you a better one and I don't just have to give you that one and be like, suck it up. Um, so I appreciate your patience, Daryl. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but to answer somebody's question earlier, all right, I'm going to hit complete, but I have not completed it. I will I will give you, you know what I mean. Anyway, because I have to do it to, to see the next one. All right, Sailor Jupiter. This one doesn't have a name on it, but it says, write Supreme Thunder, if you can. Rawr. So this one is another one by Helion White. They're incredible. And yes, say like Jupiter. Uh, but I'll answer a question in the meantime. <laughs> um, what's that painting to your left? Oh, I got it on Etsy. It's super cool. Well, all right. Go around the mic. Hold on. Oh, I can just move the mic. Um, it's cool. It's got like a kind of old school, you know, like, I don't know if Baroque is the right period, you know. Renaissance painting vibe, but then it's got a kind of punk rock aesthetics to it. So I'm trying to, you know, populate my wall with cool pop art. I believe the Etsy store is called like Rebel and Prince or something. Like Prince as in P-R-I-N-C-E, but I think it's probably also a play on print. Um, so it's cool. And then, um, am I going to New York to see Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon? Wait, are they doing like the musical there? This is the first I'm hearing about it. If so, I, I would always, I've always wanted to see one of them live. I saw it at, um... 
I saw it at, um, when I was in LA, they played it at like a theater. They did like a, like a, I don't know if it was a live event. I don't think it was. I think it was just like they played one of the musicals. I think it was one of the Sailor Stars ones. Um, let's do this one in gold. It tends to show up pretty well on this one. Um, I remember I tried to buy a board from you a couple months ago, but it sold out. Yeah, so that was the other, the older one. This is the new, the newer model from Earth Entertainment Earth. Um, I think I can probably still get the old one, but everybody seems to want this one because it glows in the dark, so that's fancy. So Supreme Thunder, and I also it has not dawned, it has not uh, what should we call it? Not dawned on me. What's the opposite? It has not escaped me that I've only signed two so far and both of them I have to redo. So if that tells you anything about my life and the kind of chaos it usually is. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys. I had um, I have a very short term uh, or a bad working memory and executive functioning and all that stuff. And I, for the longest time, thought my house was haunted because I would like walk into a room and be like, who closed that door? Or like, I'd be in the kitchen and be like, the cabinet's open. It wasn't open before. And it wasn't until my friend came to hang out with me. Because, like, for a while, it was during the pandemic. So, like, I wasn't having people over or whatever. And it was, like, just me. So, until, like, until my, fr like, my friend came over and was, like, watching me. He's like, y it's you. It's always you. You forgot. You opened it and then walked away and then turned around, like, five minutes later and, like, freaked out. I don't know what to tell you guys. But I also do think I have a ghost. Um, it can be both. Or whatever, <laughs> whatever the, the meme is. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, so there was no, no name, but the, I don't know if you can see the gold and the light, but it's like, pew, there you go, Supreme Thunder, number 28, because we have to write the little thing on the back to let them know who it goes to. Actually, I'm going to wait till the paint pen dries on that one so that it doesn't smear that one, too. Let's see, any questions? Sorry for the bad spelling, was listening to you. What bad spelling? You didn't spell anything wrong. Or, I don't know, well, I haven't, maybe I haven't gotten to yours yet. Um, here's the, use the green candle. I could. What other ghost stories have I got? Um, I won't try to think. Because, okay, so, I have, I don't know if they're actually ghost stories anymore. Like, every one that I think is one where I'm like, what is that noise? It could, oh my gosh. Okay, I had one that was uh, at my last house before I moved into this one. And I had roommates and it was like, there were like scratching in the walls. And I was like, what is that? And eventually, like, it was like, it was right by my head while I was sleeping. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I had been told, you know, on, on those ghost hunter shows, they're like, you gotta be... I mean, I know that's, like, not real life or, you know, or whatever. It's, like, for entertainment. But I, they're like, you got to be firm with the ghosts. So I was like, go away. It's 6 a.m. and I don't want you in my room. And it, like, listened to me. Like, it stopped doing it. And then a couple minutes later, I hear, I hear like, walking around upstairs. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's moved upstairs. And for, like, a couple months it happened. And then it got worse. And I remember one day I was, like, filming the wall. I'm like, oh, my God, I have evidence. I have evidence. You can hear, like, the... The thing, and then it turned out we had hundreds of rats in our walls. Uh, so not quite a ghost story, but still a horror story. Um, this one, get this one out of my face. Twenty-eight. Who's messaging me? I don't care. It's James. Oh my gosh, James is like the best person ever, and she like dro drops off the face of the earth for like months at a time. And I need to turn that off. <laughs> uh, how do I turn off the thing? And so this is like the first time I'm hearing from her in a couple months, but it's during a stream, so I'm muting it. I'll talk to you later, James. All right, complete. So the next one is a Funko Pop. Doesn't look like it has a name, but it says, I'll walk my own path, light blue paint pen. All right, so similar to Anthony's. I want Mako to marry Sa uh, to marry Nefrite. I was about to say Sailor Nefrite. I did too. And I was so excited in Crystal when they actually had the generals. And I was like, oh my gosh, my girl's going to get her boyfriend, finally. Because in the manga, you know, they, were, they implied that they had been together in the past. And I'm like, oh, she always is looking for love and now she's going to have it. And then, well, I don't, know if, I don't know if all of you have seen Crystal. I don't know if you really care if there's spoilers. But it was very much like they were, got their memories back and then very quickly it didn't matter. That's all I'll say. Um, I 
Alright. So that's for whoever the no name one is. I mean, that's not helpful at all, but <laughs> there you go. Just to prove that I did sign it and it's not a fake. Which is weird. Like at cons, they'll have these people who like, um, they'll have people who, maybe if I put post-its on it, I can see whose is whose, whatever, so I don't get disorganized. I don't know. Anyway, at cons, they'll, they start having these people who verify it and they'll put a sticker on it so people can prove that it was like me. But I'm like, you got it signed by me. Why can't I just say like, why can't I put the sticker on it? Because I asked them, like, can I just provide that service at my booth? They're like, no, it has to be from an official person. I'm like, I'm the most primary source you have here. It was my signature. Anyway, um, do I have any upcoming convention dates for the fall? Um, oh my gosh, Ruby, I definitely want to answer that question. So I will, I will get back to that. Um, do you have any upcoming convention dates for the fall? I don't know. I don't know if that far. Actually, no, I do. I might try to think. The problem is sometimes they like to wait to announce them. And I don't want to announce something. And then if something changes, they get, you know, people get mad at them being like, Amanda said she was coming. Uh, I know uh, in May I have one on the 14th and 15th, um, which is in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's called Metrotham Con. Then I'll be one day at MomoCon in Atlanta on May 28th. It's a Saturday. In June, I'll be at um, Acon in Texas uh, the first weekend. And then um, I'm not sure if it's confirmed or announced yet. I think I think I'm supposed to be at Supercon in Miami, but I'm not sure, so don't don't hold me to that. Um, there'll, there'll be more after that, but I don't know if they want me to announce anything yet. But uh, let's see, this is another one. No, that's the same one, because I, like I said, I have a bad memory, and I didn't realize I hadn't done the thing. 29, that's that one. All right. Complete. It's complete. All right. This is also one that wants the same quote, but they want it in yellow, so that'll help me differentiate it. Funko Pops. Pops for everyone. For all the good little girls and boys. I have to shake them because sometimes they get like watery and you have to kind of jettison the paint out of the pen. That's not the science of how that works, but that's just how I like to describe it. It's like a ketchup bottle. All right. It's funny because somebody the other day was like, you have the most chill, like stoner vibe, but also the most manic, like Robin Williams vibe. And I'm like, that's fair. And I don't know, I don't know what what I am because <laughs> I'm like I can see both where I'm just like yeah I don't care and then also being like pew 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 I still haven't forgotten your question about how to become a voice actor by the way I will get to it um all right so that's the yellow one for whoever got that one um Another one that wants I'll walk my own path, so maybe I should. So usually for the prints, we have to write the number on the back of like a small thing, just so they know who to send it to, so they can know which order it is. But I don't want to write on people's pops that it's like I don't want to write like a number on it. So I'm not sure how to keep track of these. I'm gonna write like a thing in twenty thirty. Sorry, I'm sure this part's not very interesting for you guys, but. 24. All right. I'm going to try and like answer questions in between the signing. So right at the bottom. I know, but I, I don't know. People, sometimes they, they do it on the bottom. But like, what if somebody wants to like sell it or something? I don't want to mess it up. I don't know. Uh, hey, Victor. Good to see you again. My, they do write it on the bottom? Like just like, like there? Alright, well hopefully some of y'all didn't want to sell these. Maybe if I write it in paint pen they can take it off. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't care so much if people wanna if people wanna sell them. Alright. Then I'll do it because it's a little bit I don't want these to go to the wrong people. I've heard horror stories of that. Alright, let me put that on its side, I guess. Um uh, 
29th. I hope I get this right. <laughs> I appreciate you guys helping me. I see sticky notes. Doesn't affect the value. Okay. All right. Then this was 29. Oh God. The 24th one I'm about to do. I wrote a bunch of post, a bunch of, a bunch of um, like little ripped off pieces of paper for myself, and then I moved them around, and now I'm a mess. But no, this is correct. This is Dewey. Okay. But I am writing it in paint pen so that if you, I mean, I don't know if you can erase it off of whatever. Doesn't matter. Stop worrying about other people so much. All right. So. people won't. Okay. I appreciate you guys, uh, like, kind of supporting, but like, you know, just helping guide, guide me, because this is my, my first time doing the Funkos. I think I've only just done kind of posters before. All right. I was at, um, at WonderCon a couple, a couple weeks ago, and they had one of those people who, like, verified it, and he was giving me grades on my autograph. It was very stressful. He's like, see this one? This one's not a good autograph. I was like, he's like, it's not as consistent as, as your other ones. I'm like, it's my autograph. Like, like, and so then I started being like, oh gosh. And he's like, mm, the paint pen thinned a little bit here and it's, th uh, it's thicker here. And so this will be like a B. And I'm like, oh gosh, this is my nightmare. A perfectionist nightmare. Um, walk my own path. Boop, ba -doop. Where I got the profile picture from. So somebody on Instagram, I was doing an Instagram, I was actually doing another Streamly signing like back in 2020 and somebody made it for me. I can't remember who it is, but if you're here, tell people your socials. I'll, I'll try to see if I can look it up because I had to ask his permission to use it. So maybe I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll look, I'll look it up because it's very cute. And it was something where like he like, or I don't actually, I don't know. If, I don't know their gender, but like he, um, used my uh the thing I was wearing I had a blue sh a blue dress with like, a red stripe and my hair was looking all all like curly or oh, I guess like it is now and uh they sent it to me and I was like oh my god this is so sweet I'm not used to people making like fan art of me just of my characters all right so that was completed all right so this is a Boruto print, and this was kind of cool because me and Miley had it like co-commissioned, so it's Boruto and Naruto together. Um, here you go, it's real cool. So if you, know, if you get it, you can have me sign here and then Miley Flanagan sign there. And, um, but the artist is, I'm gonna butcher it, I think it's like Kubaoshi on Twitter, but if you go on Streamly, I have, I have their handle there or like who it's by so you can find them so let's do gold all right that's for you number 25 write it without so if I do that the paint pen's not dry <laughs> god this is hard I should get post-its why don't I just get post -its? I'm gonna go get post-its <laughs> people are gonna pop on and be like why is there an empty chair this sucks I'll be right back Turned with the post its. So that was 25. Herp Alright, completed. Who next? This is a Juco print. And 
And this one is also by Helion White. Pia. And they want, it's to Kevin Smith. Probably not the Kevin Smith, but you are, you are, no, you are the Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith got his name from you. Pink, pink, pink would look cool. They want a conclusion will never be fucking reached. Sorry if there's children in here. Uh, well, I mean, the character said it, uh, whatever. I mean, I swear all the time, but I'm trying to keep things family friendly on the Tiki Talks, because I know that there's youngins on here. Also, sorry, I have to get the paint pen started, so it's like white, and then basically you have to like push it until the paint comes out to the white part. Um, you're 16, don't worry, okay. Well, okay, so you have a wax melt? Is it like a candle of her, or? Oh, there we go. See, now it's, now it's full of paint. Um, Yo, uh, no, no, that I think. Sorry, guys. Yeah, TikTok is strict. I, you know, I was posting. I had like a comedy account that I was doing stuff on, and like, they were starting to push my stuff out. The algorithm was like, all right, all right. And then I posted one that was like a um, using somebody else's voice. Um, I was lip syncing somebody else's funny thing, and it was dropping a lot of f bombs. And yeah, and after that, I was, I don't know. Some people say you don't get shadow band but if you go in your thing and you look at your for you page if you see zero for you page then i don't know that to me seems like your shadow band so for for like a month after that it was like no only like a hundred people are going to see this um a conclusion will never but that's on my um that's on my other one it was hey amanda celine but i think i'm going to start just posting that stuff on here because why have several different ones um all right so, to Kevin. I always wonder how strict TikTok actually is with stuff. Because I know some people will talk about, like, oh, unalive or whatever. Like, I'm just, like, curious if that's just kind of, like, a myth that, like, they're that strict about saying, you know, certain words or whatever. Or if they really are just, like... If the algorithm, like, hears it and it will just, you know, put the kibosh on you. A conclusion. All right. There you go, Kevin Smith. I don't, know, I don't know why I just smiled like I was in like a third grade photo. I feel like third graders are like, I don't know why we don't know how to smile. Like when you're a kid, you just smile and you don't think about it. And then suddenly you get really like awkward around third or fourth grade. And then you smile like this like grimace and it's just like, <laughs> like their class photos, or at least I did. Um, and then eventually we learn how to do it right. So it's 26. Whoop. Complete. This is a Borto one. This one is not commissioned by anyone. It's commissioned by Google. It was one of my older ones that was just a print from the show. So it's this one. to Sanders. All right, there you go, Sander. Boop. I realize if I have my face out of the photo, maybe it just looks like I'm faking it. If you try to, like, verify it, they'll be like, well, we don't know that was actually her, so I should probably keep my face in the photo. This is also too much pressure for me. Too many things to keep track of. All right. That one's completed. No. Let me answer some questions. Who gets away with it? Wait. Oh, oh I can scroll back up, can I? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, 
or at the number first then sign. Yeah, probably should have done that. I appreciate that. Uh, how's my day going? It's going great. I went to the farmer's market this morning. I felt all bougie. I was like trying to find everything that was weird and unique because I was like, I'm sick of like chicken and eggs and all that stuff. I want to try different adventurous things. So I got like duck eggs and quail eggs and I'm like excited to find stuff to make with those. Well, I'm also considering getting ducks because I've been really interested in the idea of homesteading and like I have a big backyard and I'm like growing my own vegetables and fruits and I'm like, you know what, it'd be kind of cool to have like ducks lay some eggs because they have more, um, I guess more yolk or like they're richer and have more like protein and and fat and they're supposed to taste better and also ducks don't mess up your garden they actually eat the bugs for you so it's kind of like a symbiotic thing um maybe get some i mean this is like a long-term plan but at first i thought about getting goats but i hear that they escape and jump over fences so maybe i'll get like some sheep and you get sheep milk i don't know i don't even have a pet like a single pet like not even a cat or dog right now so it's just funny that i'm like oh yeah yeah i'm gonna get a whole farm i'm gonna go get a beehive and become one of those beekeepers and have my own honey I probably won't. I have no follow through, like I said in my other video. Um, so, let's see. Hi, with bad paint pens. Yeah, that's legit. Not a key. Uh, one voice actor question, the one haunted house. Okay, yes, I appreciate that. Um, so, uh, thank you. My, you like my hair. I do have a closet full of different character prints. I also have a closet full of costumes and stuff, and I'm, <laughs> I like to dress up and like film ridiculous sketches and stuff for people, because I'm still 12. Um, I would do great in a zombie apocalypse. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Well, I would do, if I, you know, the homesteading stuff, yes, but I'm also like, I don't like running, and I don't have, I don't have any endurance, so I'm very much like, I'm very much like, uh, if a zombie's chasing me and it's long enough, I'm just gonna lay down and just let him eat, let him just devour me. I don't care. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Um, and then what was the other question? So there was the voice actor question. And there's also the haunted house question. So or the haunted locations question, I think it was. So I love my favorite thing to do when I go traveling is every city I go to. If I only have time, like if I'm at a, con, at a con and I only have time to like you know do the convention and maybe get food after or something, I'll try to make sure I go on a ghost tour. So ghost tours are like, um, ghost tours are like, you know, they're, they're more just like, ooh, this location allegedly had this thing happen. And it's fun because whether you believe in ghosts or not, it's kind of fun to like, you have the spooky vibe, get to see the city, see the sights, um, and also um, get to see, you know, get some history because I love history too. So I love doing those, but I started in St. Augustine, they have actual like, ghost hunts where you have like equipment and stuff and I went on one like back in like 2019 and it was so much fun St. Augustine is so freaking haunted every time I've gone there something weird has happened with my Airbnb and I can't explain it um and I'm just like I, I don't know bro like I will not go to St. Augustine by myself anymore last time I went I had to have my little sister come with me because and there was one time we were in the Airbnb and I swear to god I swear it was not me we we're sitting there and then we hear like it almost sounds like a fart, and I don't know what to, how to describe it. It was like, it was like, pfft, right next to my head. <laughs> and, like, Brianna's like, ew, gross. And I was like, that wasn't me. And so I'm like, cool, we, have far we got farting ghosts in here. Um, but, yeah, so I like doing that. I want to do more of it, and honestly, it'd be kind of fun to do, like, my own ghost show, because clearly I'm ridiculous. So it wouldn't actually be scary. It would be more like me making silly commentary. We'll also be like, oh, what was that? Oh, God. Ha! Ah. Um... And I went to one at like a haunted playhouse in Georgia. Um, so yeah, anyway, it, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty fun. Again, whether you believe it or not, it's just kind of a fun thing to be like, ooh, the unknown. Um, is Boruto going to marry Sarda in the future? I do not know. I actually do not know any more than anybody else does. In fact, the people who read the manga tend to know more than I do because they're ahead. Uh, but yeah, Viz does not tell me anything, because I don't know if Viz even knows. Like, I don't think, I don't know if the, um, the Japanese, because they're just the distributor. So I don't know if the Japanese creators actually, like, tell them, like, hey, this is what's going to happen. P probably not. I think they just kind of do it by, you know, they're like, oh, here, by the way. Because you'll have times with a lot of these long-running shows where the director will just give, like, um, they'll give, like, um, whatchamacallit, 
the director will say, oh, well, here, just give this three-line character to this actor. This, they just kind of give it to somebody. And then later that person comes back and is like the main villain for like 100 episodes or something. You know, like, and they, def they don't know that ahead of time. So sometimes actors get cast and then they get upgraded because they, they didn't know. Um, um, has anyone been rude to about doing dubs? Oh, yeah, of course. But, I mean, people are allowed to have their opinions. They're allowed to be wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, there's times where I'll watch subs. It just depends on what I'm doing. I usually am doing something else, so I'd rather watch dubs. And also, dubs, I don't know. People, people act like we're still in the speed racer days, and I don't really, we're not. I've seen a lot of really great dubs. So, um, still dressed in spandex. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Like, I have a whole wig rack. I don't know if you can see. Well, if I turn it, it might mess everything up, but. Gosh, uh, darn it. Okay, so over there, let me make sure you can even see anything. So, can you see it? Yeah. So over there, that's my, uh, like a wig rack. It's like long and it's like got three bars on it. And that right there is my VO booth. Uh, but the, um, I have many, many wigs. Okay. So... And then the voice actor question I'll do after this one. I'm going to try and balance balance it a little bit so I'm being efficient. All right. To peck with an exclamation mark. I'm going to add the exclamation mark. I murder with passion and conviction. Yeah. Let's see? Sorry, that was very underwhelming of me. But so uh, I voiced Toko in the in the video games, and then Aaron Fitzgerald voices Genocide Jack or Genocide Jill or Genocide Sio or whatever they call her. So we are a, a dynamic duo there. Um, and then for anybody who's confused, being like, why are there so many Junkos? Uh, I voiced. So we did the video games in what, like 2013, 2014. And I was Junko and Toko in the video games, and then, uh, and then Aaron Fitzgerald. They cast her to be the other, you know, be uh, Toko's alter ego. And then also a, like two or three of Junko's, three of Junko's. So I'm Junko, Mukuro, um, a bunch of the other ones, and I don't want to spoil too much. I probably already did. Sorry, but the game's been out a while. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and then when they did the anime, that was in Dallas, so we were in L.A., and uh, they decided to go with local Dallas talent. So the lovely Jamie Markey is the, um, is the voice of Junko in the dub, and I believe Carly Mo Mo Mosier is Toko in the dub. Uh, so that is why there's so much confusion. Because I remember when I had... Uh, uh, I remember when I first came on TikTok, my first video was like, these are some of the characters I do. And people are like, you're not Junko. It's like, listen, I was Junko first. Well, not not technically. Technically, the Japanese voice actress was. I'm like, there's enough Junko to go around. Conviction. Kya. That's why I wasn't able to give you an appropriate kya ha ha ha, because that is... Uh, that is an errand thing. All right, Peck. There you go. That is for you. And I didn't do the thing that Ruby suggested, which was smart, which is to write the number beforehand. I'll learn. I'll figure it out. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I know this is weird and I'm all over the place, but it's nice to see everyone. Or, well, I guess I don't see you, but you know what I mean. Uh, complete. Oh, there's another one for Peck. All right. Uh, this is a Junko one. Sorry, and I know I said I would answer the voice actor question after that one, but I'll do it after this one. We'll do it live. All right. Nope, I'm going to write the number on it. I'm going to write the number on it. I'm remembering, Ruby. All right, 23. Despair is contagious. Everyone catches it. Well, 
which is kind of true actually. Make sure that you're hanging around. What is that 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 phrase where it's like you're the top you're the top you're the whatever amalgamation of the top five people that you spend the most time with that is so true and I've you know I'm like I'm 34 and I'm finally like realizing like oh I was negative because a lot of the people in my life were people that were also negative and it's hard to grow because misery loves company so if you if you bond with people because you all hate the same you know things or fandoms or whatever and you're like oh yeah we, we, that thing sucks and you're like oh yeah I think that thing sucks too then you're building a friendship off of mutual hatred of things as opposed to mutual values that's just my advice to people is if you're wondering why all your friendships are kind of negative it's probably because you became friends over like oh god like this town sucks right oh yeah I know I can't wait to get out sometimes it turns out fine but I find that a lot of them don't and then when you finally want to be positive and be like oh I'm, I'm trying to grow they kind of pull you back down and it's not fun. Anyway, despair is contagious. Everyone catches it. Okay, that's for you. Just hit myself in the face with it. Wait, I didn't do it. I did it on the Toko one. I didn't write the number on this one. Baby steps. I did though. I did. I did. I just forgot that I did. I told you. This is why I thought my house was haunted. <laughs> All right. Complete. Another pop. To July, that would be that's cool. If that's your name. I mean, it's probably a um, like internet name, but I like that. June, July, May. Like I just like names that are. All right. No color instructions, so I'll do. Let's do yellow. Um. Hello, you're welcome for signing your pops. Uh, no, it's all good. I know. Yeah, you're in Ireland, right? So it's pretty late there. Uh, oh, you met me at C2E2? That's awesome. Yeah, I had a really good time. Uh, if I love haunted locations, like, I had a blast. I was in Chicago, but I was there in December. Somebody said that I was at C2E2. I think it was December. Unless it was October. Maybe I missed it. But no, like, I, uh, I wanted to. Because I've heard, you know, especially with all the, the crime, like, the mob stuff in Chicago. Like, I just, uh, there was Chicago, right? I know they had it in New York, but I'm pretty sure Chicago had, like, crime stuff. I, I, I love, I just love, I love history, I love stories. Ghost tours feel like a fun way to kind of get all of that in there and kind of get a little bit of the mood of, like, ooh, spooky. So, to July, I'm going to write my favorite quote, which is, stupid old man. <laughs> Hope you're okay with that. You said my favorite quote, so. I mean, I probably there's probably other ones that make me laugh more, but that's the one that comes to my mind right at this moment. And then 31. I'm like stacking them. That's probably precarious. All right. I'm a perfume. I don't, I did not know that. So I'm scrolling back a little bit. You might have missed my signing. Sorry, uh, which one were you? Maybe I can tell you if I already, were you one of the VIPs? Cause I probably did already do it, but I can show you, I can show you yours. Um, do I know when more dubbed episodes are coming? So they, again, they don't tell me much. I'm trying to figure out how to get more of a direct communication with this so I can be, cause I want to help them promote the show. Because I have no idea where any... I think it's on Hulu and Crunchyroll, but I don't even know how many episodes of the dub are out. Um, I know there's new episodes coming out May 17th on, like, Blu-ray, which is... Uh, I think it's, like, up through 150, I think. I know we've recorded up through, like, what, 210 or something like that, so we're working on it. We'll get it out at some point. Um, um, uh, can you show me your, yours also? Okay, yes, yeah, it's Anthony. All right. Uh, oh, Anthony, 
Yours I have to re-sign because I smudged it, but I can do that because if you just took, um, if you take um, hand sanitizer and wipe it off, I can start again. But I did sign yours, but it'll be, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to redo it. But yes, I have yours here. Um, I'm so nice. Oh, yes. You're, yes, I have. That is yours. And I signed it in gold because it looks cool with her, like, gold thing. I don't know. The tiara. So. You say, hi, Isaiah. Hi, Isaiah. What's going on? Uh, let's see. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Crunchyroll stopped. So Crunchyroll's only subbed? I thought they said that they were starting to they put the dub on there, too. <laughs> Ruby's like, I'm a real person. I'm just your average college student. You make it sound like, like that's what somebody who like has like a secret uh, was it like a secret identity would say. They're like, nothing to see here. Just your just your average average college student. <laughs> Look away. Um, all right. Am I gonna post this to my page? I assume at the end, can I have the if I just hit save? I'll try to. Um, I'll try to pick that awesome Jingo print from you at MomoCon. Yes, I will have it there. Also, sorry, I'm like showing you guys down my shirt. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're like, don't apologize. Keep doing it. But, um, cool. I think I, and then the answer, the voiceover question, because I keep saying I'm going to do it. <laughs> quiet, old man, Boruto. Okay. <laughs> Be quiet, old man. <laughs> um, so... Voiceover, it's it's one of those things where I personally think because people forget that it's it's voice acting. So acting is like one of the key components of it. And I tend to say it's actually one of the hardest kinds of acting. Because I you know, I've done theater, I do TV and film, I do all of it. They're all hard in different ways. You know, they have certain things that are easier, certain things that are harder. But with voiceover, you tend to be recording by yourself. So uh, sometimes we do group records, but that those 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 days have kind of gone the way of the dodo. Even before COVID, it was very much it was hard to schedule and get a bunch of actors in the same room for like animation, like Cartoon Network stuff or whatever, like Western animation. Um, but for anime, we've never recorded together because you do it, you basically do all of your lines and you have to match the picture and it would just take too long to have groups. So to be a good voice actor, you have to have the ability to imagine, which is funny because we're born with that. You know, as kids, we have it naturally. And then, uh, uh, we have it naturally and we kind of lose it as we go through school and we you know, have to be serious and everything. So acting class is going to help you tap back into that so you're able to imagine. Because you're only able to convey it with your voice. Nobody can see your face. They can't see your body. So you have to convey realistically that you're being chased by, you know, a bunch of, you know, ninja. Or you have to, you know, you're panting and you're doing all this stuff. And, you know, you're, you have to kind of be able to trick your brain almost into thinking you're in those situations. Uh, it's hard to, I mean, I don't know. It's basically, I think Stanislavski was saying, he's like an old, old dead Russian guy who was an acting coach. And, you know, it's the power of the what if. You know, so in the script, they're like, hey, you're a ice wizard and you're fighting, uh, I don't know, an alien, and they've just hit you with a laser beam and you're falling off a cliff and you have to catch a branch and be like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like... You have to imagine all this stuff while you're in like a little booth, not actually doing any of that stuff. So, um, so it's, uh, it's really like, what can I say? I would say, I would say acting classes first, really get that imagination muscle strong because when you're in a, if you're in like a situation where you got cast as one character or you auditioned for one character, but then they say, Hey, you booked, you booked a role in this thing. And then you show up and they'll say, uh, hey, uh, what's cloud bread? What's all this stuff? Thanks, Isaiah. <laughs> um, and they say, hey, actually, so we actually liked you for a different character that you didn't read for, and also that character has a British accent and is a duck. You have to be able to turn on that acting muscle and be like, yep, like, yeah, we got it, let's go. Like, you know, and be able to just play and not judge yourself. So acting will help with that. Improv classes help, uh, because improv helps you just kind of think on your toes and come up with stuff and kind of learn to be a little more flexible and be able to, especially in the booth, sometimes they'll say like, hey, do you have any ideas? Which is not common, but they'll do it more for like video games or um, 
original animation, like sometimes they'll be like, you know what, just do a take for fun, just improv something. So improv is really helpful. Um, and then you know, if you're a singer, that's incredible because singing or sort of theater classes, um, theater classes are very much like, um, they'll help you learn how to use your, your instrument, which is your, your body, your, you know, your vocal cords, learning how to use your resonator. So being able to sing also helps you kind of be able to figure out how to mo modulate your voice as well. After you do all that and you build that solid foundation, then I recommend taking voiceover specific classes. I know it's a lot of <laughs> classes, 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 but you know, you wouldn't be like, I'm going to be a welder or I'm going to be a doctor and not take classes. Granted, I just compared acting to being a doctor, but you know what I mean? Like anything you want to be good at and have a longevity at it, you have to train at it, you know? Um, so taking voiceover specific classes, at some point I'm going to offer some, but I just don't have the organization now. I'm thinking what I might do is I might like film it, like I'll pay somebody to help me like film a bunch of different stuff and do like a master class kind of thing where you can like download it and you know do whatever so I don't have to answer the question all the time because I always ramble like this. And it'll be more like, this is anime, this is animation, this is video games, and this is how you get an agent, like trying to have like different things. I think that could be cool and you could just like live on the internet and I could, you know, just do that um but for now crispin freeman has incredible classes i've studied with him before he's really great and he's an actor's actor he has like you know, he's on broadway he had i believe a master's in acting so like he's very he's very well trained and um tony oliver well, i don't know if he still teaches it but there's a great class called adventures in voice acting which it helps you specifically with like anime dubbing which is a class i took um back when i was in college to be like oh cool this is something i might want to do so, um, you can do a really good country accent. <laughs> I love doing country accents. Mine are all over the place, though. So, like, you don't, I don't know if, I don't, I can't tell where this person's from. I don't know if they're from Virginia or from Georgia or if it's a little bit of all of it. Maybe they moved around a lot. I don't know, but it's really fun to, it's really fun to say or, or like, talk in. And once I start talking, it's hard to get out of it. Um, so, can I say Shadow Clone Jutsu? Yes. Shadow Clone Jutsu! Uh, wasn't he the voice of Itachi? I thought was Crispin Freeman. That probably was him. It's not. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to assume. I guess I could Google it. There's a thing right here, but um, let me also hit complete on July's thing. Oh, this is for Brianna. I realize I'm like, oh, I should probably also be signing. Um, but let me see with the voiceover stuff. So voiceover classes, because that'll help you figure out your type. Um, so you know what you can go out for and be like, all right, I'm really good at. Uh, you know, like for me, I actually learned in Christian's, Christian's, Crispin's class that I, I have to figure out how I have to phrase this properly so it doesn't sound weird, but I play young boys well. So like, or, 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 you know, like I have a deeper voice than a lot of girls. So like my voice, this is closer to, Borto is closer to my voice than like Sailor Jupiter is. It's <laughs> weird. But anyway, um, you know, so you might learn, oh, I'm really good at playing, like, weird old grandmas. Like, you kind of can play around in class and play around with scripts that you might not normally get an audition for. Like, your agent and people will kind of pigeonhole you sometimes. Mine's pretty good at sending me a lot of stuff, but a lot of times you might just only get young hero types or you're going to always be, like, best friend or whatever. So class is a way for you to play all of it and see what sticks throw spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks so class is a great way to figure out your archetype because you're going to want to know what your archetype is or your wheelhouse is so that when you make a demo reel which is basically like the trailer for the movie that is you you know when you're submitting to agents it's a one it's like a 60 second clip of like a bunch of different or a 60 second reel of a bunch of different clips that sound like they're from something like usually they're usually you pay somebody a decent amount of money like it's usually like 800 bucks to like a thousand or even two thousand because they have to produce it, they have to write the copy for you, they have to edit it, they have to mix it, they have to rent the studio, like it's a whole thing. But it's an investment up front. So that's why you want to take classes first, because you do not want to make your demo reel before you're ready, because it's a lot of money, and then you'll have wasted your money, because you'll submit and people will be like, this person's green and they're not good. So wait until you are ready, until you feel you are ready to compete with, com with people who've been doing it for 10, 20 years. I mean, that sounds like a tall order, but that's what I tell people. Do not spend that money prematurely. I've had friends do it, and I'm like, I don't know how to tell them this is bad because they've already spent the money. So I'm like, cool, well, good luck. I don't, you know, like, I don't know. What, anyway, um, so 
when in the class is also the teacher some a lot of teachers like uh, Richard Horvitz I believe like Mick Wingert they're really great animation teachers and they're vo incredible voice actors so you're learning from people who are actually currently doing it that's another thing when you're looking for classes it's best to look for people who are currently in the industry because a lot of people will try to make money teaching classes but they haven't been in the industry for 20 or 30 years so they're telling you how to do reads from like the 1980s you know it's just not a good investment of your money um, uh, I think Crispin was the voice we talked to. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm all over the place. But it's, that's why, it's a complicated question. That's why I'm like, maybe I should just, like, put videos out on my website or something about it. But, um, yeah, so you'll take classes. The classes will also help you make friends with other people that are kind of coming up in your at your like level in the industry and honestly like those people tend to be the ones who are going to be working in a couple of years so it's great to know people get to know people before they're before they're too good to know you or whatever um so then because voice actors are, really, are pretty generous like if they're like hey I, you know, I remember you from class hey you were really good at this kind of read i'm casting a video game do you want to read for it like it's good to have that connection that network of people um and then our uh, take classes once you're ready, do your demo reel. Then the demo reel is what you would submit to agents. Because agents are really who... They're going to be... You can book stuff online, I guess. But it's not going to be, like, the quality stuff. Most of, like, the original animation, like, you know, big stuff that's on, I don't know, Netflix or Cartoon Network or, you know, anime stuff. Well, anime you can get without an agent. But a lot of the other stuff is going to be... You need, you need to go through an agent to get it. And if you're in L.A., you're going to have to join the union, the actors' union, which is, like... It's like three grand up front. It's crazy. So do not join the union until you have to. And I probably shouldn't be saying that because I'm, I'm on the union board. But I tell people, like, once you do union stuff, once you join the union, you can't do non-union stuff anymore. And non-union stuff kind of, like, help helps you, like, cut your teeth and build your skills and build your resume. So if you join the union too soon, but you have no credits, people aren't necessarily going to hire you. So anyway, that's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, that's my... That's enough to get you started. Uh, it's not like the whole thing, but uh, let's see. Skyrim is a lot like life. It make friends open up stuff, which is crazy. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what life is, especially in this in the entertainment industry. It's they say it's who you know. That's pretty much every job. Like when you just submit cold submit a resume to a business, they might be like, eh. but if they say, hey, this is so and so's kid. Or, hey, I went to school with this person, your resume is going to get bumped to the top. Because people just want to, they don't want to work with jerks. They don't want to work with people who aren't good workers. So, in every industry, people are going to choose the people they know or have a reference from before anything else. And don't hit up voice actors or people like me that don't actually know you and be like, hey, can you forward my stuff? Because the thing is, I don't know you. So, I'm not going to, like... My agent takes my recommendations very seriously, so because I, I try to only submit people that I know very well, where I'm like, all right, I know this person will not make me look bad. This person will not not show up to auditions, where this person's going to be professional, and I've seen their talent, and I, you know, because sometimes I've had, I used to forward everything, and then I was like, oh, actually, this person's not good. They're my friend, but they're not very good, and I didn't realize that, so now I try to be very, very judicious with it. Anyway, uh, you're welcome. Rasenga, okay. <laughs> That's not me saying it. That was me reading it. Uh, Rasengan! I hope that wasn't too loud. I don't know how, if you're able to hear everything. If it's all, like, muted, because I'm, or not muted, if it's all muffled because the mic's down there. All right, so we're going to do a Sailor Jupiter poster. Yeah! Yes, yeah, so this one is to Brianna. Actually, this one, this might be Brianna. So my sister's name is Brianna, but it's spelled the wrong way. So it's B R I A N A, and she's gonna be mad at me. She's gonna be like, <laughs> she's gonna be like, um, it's the right way. But no, B R I A N A is supposed to be Brianna, and then B R I A N N A is supposed to be Brianna, from what I understand. But if you're here, Brianna, you can not my sister, but the this Brianna, the correct Brianna. If you're here, you can let me know if that's correct or not. Uh, let's do gold again. Uh, keep on thriving. All right. 
I didn't write the number. Ruby, I'm learning, but I'm not learning quick enough. 32. There you go, Brianna, or Brianna, probably Brianna. Completed. All right, we got another pop. I think this is from you, the, the one in Ireland. So I will sign this so that you can go to bed. Um, but yeah, I, I've been to Scotland. I spent like, I was in London, because originally before I moved to Atlanta, I was gonna move to London because my mom is from France and so I have EU citizenship. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to London and be all posh and be that person who's like, oh yeah, I took the tube and uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> Um, but, uh, well, I guess the accent's now more like, I don't know, maybe it's not. I remember for a while it was like, yeah, good, yo, bruv, yeah, yeah, fam, this, <laughs> it's so dumb. I'm sorry, I'm bad at that. I just remember, it was like, it sounds almost like they're about to go into, like, a rap or something, and they're like, hey, it's not a white thing or a black thing, like, everybody talks like this. You're gonna be like, this is awful, an awful London accent. Because <laughs> it's called MLE, like, Multicultural London English. And they're like, yeah, it's replacing Cockney. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And I was fascinated by it, but I'm not good at it anymore. I used to be really good at it because I'd watch like Misfits or like all those like BBC, I don't know if that was a BBC show, but you know, British shows. Um, and then this one in pink. All right. I think must, this might be the first Boruto pop I'm doing in pink. So you have a one of a kind item. Uh, can you write, I'm still a Shinobi. Very much love from Northern Ireland. I... And I've always wanted to go to Ireland. It seems gorgeous. Um, and also the people just seem really friendly. Um, but I spent, like, I was in London so back in 2018. I was scouting it out because I was going to, I went there twice that year to kind of, like, scout out places and be like, mm, yeah, yeah, this is where I'm going to live. Mm -hmm. um, and I had applied to a grad school, an acting program, but I didn't get in. I got waitlisted, um, which I guess is not the worst thing because it means that they were like, you're good, just not, like, good enough. Um... Then, uh, or I guess they ha already had, they said they already had somebody of my type or something. I'm like, all right. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then I took the train for like 24 hours to go to Glasgow and I had the best time. I know that's not Ireland. I'm just saying it's the, the closest outside of the UK I've, or not outside of the UK, but outside of, outside of England <laughs> that I've been. So I haven't quite been to Ireland, but I kind of went north and I went to a friend's party. I didn't know who she was, but my, it was my friend's friend, and I had a blast. We did, like, a traditional Kaylee or whatever dance, and I was just dancing with all these, like, Scottish people in Glasgow. I'm like, this is so cool! And then we went to a castle. I think it was called, like, Loch Lomond or something. But, yes, next time I travel, I'm definitely going to Ireland. So let me know places I should hit up. I mean, everybody goes to see the Blarney Stone, but I want to see the cool stuff. I want to see the haunted stuff. All right. I'm still a shinobi. Everybody's gonna have to take a Xanax after watching me. I'm all over the place. I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. I never stop talking. And I'm like this when you guys aren't even here. That's the weird thing. I could literally, I've literally had like two, three hour conversations with myself. Like as if I'm on a podcast, like I'm a celebrity, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm talking about my life. <laughs> this is, these are my thoughts on current affairs or, you know, whatever. Um, so. <laughs> And then when there's people actually asking me stuff, the conversation will go on even even longer. But yeah, I could you could ask me one question, and I'll go pew 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 and go off on tangents and just entertain myself the whole time. So, thirty three, you are completed. There you go. And uh, yeah, oh another, oh I thought it was the same one. It's a different pop. Okay, I'll keep this here. See if I missed anything. Can you say, Ruby, you're the best aunt ever? Okay. Man, Ruby, you're the best aunt ever. Um, they just have a Monte. I don't know why they don't have a Junko or a Toko Funko because they would sell like like hotcakes. I don't, I don't know if maybe it's a licensing thing or whatever, but like, I don't know why they aren't doing it. Uh, wait. You're, wait, Mike Williams, you're, are you, yes, hi Epic Mike, Epic Mike is like my new BFF, um, 
I'm glowing. That could also be a little bit. I think I put, I think I put on one of the filters because I was sweating because I was outside. <laughs> but also, uh, I was in the sun all day going to my little farmer's market, getting my, I got some flowers and I planted them in my yard and I have like some container stuff and I'm very excited. Spring is my favorite season. Uh, well, I love snow, but it doesn't really snow in Georgia. So spring is for, it's just like, everything's coming back to life. My rose bush is fucking, sorry, freaking killing it. Whatever. I already said it. Their TikTok's already going to be like, nah, you're out of here. Um, and everybody's like, that rose bush isn't going to grow there. It's no, the soil's not good, but I'm like, no, it will. And I poured coffee grounds on it every time I made coffee because I, I don't know. I was told that it, they they liked the nitrogen, and now it's growing like, and I deadhead it, which is a philosophical thing. Gardening is very like, mm, I need this lesson for my life. So when there's like some of the heads don't quite make it out, and you have to just like pluck them off, or you know whatever, you have to like I don't know if that's quite deadheading or not, but like in order for the other ones in the future to grow. And it's like, you gotta, you gotta prune things. You can't just let, you can't just let things that are draining your energy stay. You have to cut their heads off. I'm, I'm advocating murder, whatever. I don't even care about TikTok's stuff now. Mike knows, Mike knows I'm very foul. <laughs> so this is me working real hard to not, to not, to, to be PG at least. Uh, Funko. I said Funko, not something else. So Funko off. Get out of my face. Okay. That was the empty box for the pops. All right, so there's no special instructions on here, but this one's to Mika. Um, let's do a yellow. sign the, these with a the sticker because it like cuts into my signing space so I feel like it covers his face but it is what it is because I, I assume you guys want the sticker on there because it says exclusive limited edition and you want to know that you're fancy don't you 34 We're slowly making our way through. Also, if you've ever, some of you have met me at cons, you know that this is about how slow I sign things because I talk a lot. But I'm kind of hoping that you're getting a fun experience when you're signing, when I'm signing stuff for you at cons. Like you're not just there to get my signature. You're there to like see me act a fool. <laughs> then you're getting your money's worth. All right. Uh, this is a Sailor Jupiter poster. Yeah. Oh, I need to get more of these printed. I'm almost out. But you guys will be good. There's enough for all. Well, not all of you, but, you know, there's enough for whoever, however many people bought stuff. All right. Uh, 35. I'm going to write the number on the back now, Ruby. All right. Um, also, um, 12 new messages. Sorry, I'm missing stuff. If I, if I enjoy snow, I'd assume you haven't eaten, you know what, in ice then. I mean, you mean, ye do you mean yellow snow? Because no, I have not eaten that. Uh, I enjoy snow, but it's cold and not nice. I definitely want, like, I want it to snow a handful of times in the winter, a couple inches, you know, nice three, maybe, maybe six inches. Not enough to be like, everything's canceled. Well, in Atlanta... There's a fi uh, picture, I think it's from 2014, if you Google like Snowmageddon Atlanta, there was, in <laughs> it snowed, it was like maybe an inch, I don't even think it was fully an inch, it was like a dusting, but Atlanta doesn't have like a snow plow, there, you know, there, or and maybe it does now after that, but they didn't have a snow plow, they didn't have salt, salt, oh, there we go, alright, um, they didn't know what to do, so they were like, so people literally just like, it was like the walking dead. If you look at the pictures, there's just cars 
backed up on the freeway and they're all empty because people just like were stuck for like seven hours and then just was like, I, I'm going home. So everybody got out of their car and walked home and just left them on the snowy freeway. And then the, eventually emergency vehicles had to come through and kind of push them to the side. And then people kind of came over the next couple of days and got them. But I wasn't here for that, but they will, because of that, if there is even a hint that there might be snow, they're going to shut down. They're going to close schools. They're going to do all that. Whereas, like, in the north, like, you know, in, like, Boston, you have to have, like, you know, nine feet of snow before they'll can uh, cancel school. But um, I remember the first year I lived in Atlanta. It was, like, 2018. And I had a doctor's appointment. And I called... And they or not showed up, and they were like, "What are you doing? Hey, this, don't you know the snow is coming? Get to safety!" And then, then they're, they're like, "They're like everybody's leaving." So yeah, that was my first uh, my first experience with that. Um, this one doesn't have a name on it, but you're number thirty five, whatever that means. Uh, order thirty five. Bring. doesn't die it's at 20 percent that would suck and then i wouldn't be able to upload it i guess i should hurry up then don't shouldn't i all right well that's whoever's that is this is i signed it uh, all right are we almost done are we getting close i don't know it's just oh we okay we are we are almost done all right so this is to for Seely may the one on Twitter who's like, I've been waiting weeks. I'm like, I'm sorry. But here you go, Celie Mae. This is yours. And it will be on its way to you soon. I didn't, nope, nope. I gotta write the number on it. Gotta write the number on it. This is why I wanted, I just want to get rich and famous just to be able to hire a personal assistant. Because I don't have the brain power to do to keep track of things, clearly. I want to just be creative and talk to people and have fun and not have to do all the adult stuff. Like remembering to write numbers down. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> oh, all done. I finished my signing. There we go. Okay. What? No, I did it. Okay. We're good. Looks like we're... T I completed 36. Oh, maybe maybe some of you bought stuff while we were signing. I was like, that felt like way more than we originally had. Well, good. We got we got everyone, so I can answer some questions. Um, for a Toko candle, but they did Junko. I need to look this up. So Otaku sense. I think somebody might have sent me something of theirs because I had a Sailor Jupiter candle. Um, uh, so in the Dragon Ball anime franchise, that'd be fun. Uh, although I don't know, I haven't really done much of the Dallas stuff. I know some people at Funimation, but I haven't, uh, it's annoying because basically I'm in the union, so because I'm in the union, I can't do non-union stuff, and unfortunately in, in Texas, a lot of the, work, the stuff is not union, but we'll see, maybe in the, maybe we'll be able to figure something out. All right. Would, be ha would you happen to know how your itinerary would be from, from MomoCon this year? So... Technically, I'm not a guest of Momocon. I'm a guest of Wasabi Anime, and they'll be having a booth, and so I'm signing at their booth that will be at Momocon. So I believe I'll be in either the Dealer's Hall or Exhibitor's Hall. I think my schedule's from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday, May 28th. Um, I don't think I'm having any panels because because I'm not a guest of the con itself. Sorry, I was trying not to burp. Not, I'm, it sounded like I was crying, but <laughs> I'm getting really emotional that Momocon <laughs> didn't invite me. I'm just kidding. Um... But yeah, so uh, I'll be there at the table. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to sit there for seven hours straight. Like, I'm going to take breaks, get lunch and stuff, but I will be there. Um, my favorite Junko or Toko line. There's a line in the video game. I think it might have been the first game. 
or Ultra Despair Girls. Well, first of all, in Ultra Despair Girls, there's that whole scene that I probably can't do on TikTok, um, but it's the one where it's just like the fantasy scene with her, you know, being like, yes, I'm your livestock. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like that whole, that whole thing was ridiculous. Uh, but she also has a line in the first game that I don't even remember the context of, but honestly, knowing Toko, there probably wasn't a lot of context. And she's like, stop trying to put me further into your meat dimension. So yeah. Um... Uh, yes, Jeremy and I are Mina, uh, or Mako and Minako. Hello, so, so satar. I probably, probably butchered that. Um, sorry, I like, don't know how to do this without flashing everybody. Um, uh, yeah, Ruby, I might, <laughs> I might take you up on that. Um, yes, I want, uh, well, I, the thing is, I do want to read it, though. I want to read it because I've heard the manga is incredible, and I know like the show has some like filler arcs, but it'd be cool to see like well, some is some is generous. There's a lot of filler in the show. I feel bad that like a lot of people dropped off because the it kind of started with a lot of filler, and then like once it hits like the tuning exams, it really kind of takes off running. So I always tell people to kind of skip to that arc because I feel like it just kind of keeps hitting. You have the time travel stuff, and you have Kawaki, you have all that stuff. So. If you, if you kind of started watching Boruto, you're like, this feels like it's for kids and it's nothing's happening. They're just, they're, they're, they're lulling you into a false sense of security. Um, but no, I do want to read, I do want to read the manga, so I, uh, I will be doing that. I've ordered some, actually ordered some on Amazon. I don't know. I've been having Amazon orders not show up. I actually need to follow up on that. So thank you, whoever was asking me. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Eat it, X, lots of X's in your name. Um. But, yeah, Michigan, I can imagine you probably get a, a, a nut ton of snow. Um, yeah, it's a cool post. So the poster, the Junko poster, the Toko poster, for those of you who weren't here earlier, the Junko poster, Toko poster, and Sailor Jupiter poster are all done by Helion White. So H-E-L-L-Y-O-N, White. Um, you can find them on Twitter, all over. They're great. Um, uh... And what did we say? The Guardian Transformation Pen work the same as the Power Rangers Morpher. Yeah, pretty much. It does work the same. I'm trying to like turn so I'm not. Uh, I need to. I think my deodorant wore off. I'm like, what is that smell? I'm like, oh, it's me. Also, I live I live alone, so that would be very awkward if it was somebody else's smell. Oh yeah. Oh god, I don't know if I can say it on TikTok. So I learned. After I got, I, I bought my house like two years ago. Didn't realize when I got it. Thankfully, I'm glad I didn't because I think it might have scared me off. And I love, I love this place. But like last summer, like a Fourth of July get together, my neighbors were talking and they're like, "Oh, I love." She was a little, a little tipsy, so she she let down her filter a little bit. And she's like, "Oh, I just love the renovations they did to your house. It's so much nicer than when Big George." I, she didn't say this, but unalived himself in there well she did say that but she said you know i just don't i don't want tiktok to get mad at me because i've already dropped two f-bombs um but yeah so uh a man a man took his own life in my house and i don't know how and i don't know where and i kind of am hesitant to ask because once i know where he did it i'll never be able to go in that room again and i don't want to find out that it's my bedroom and it's like oh yeah that corner where your bed is so i just don't think about it and then it infiltrates my thoughts every once in a while while I'm sitting there watching TV minding my own business and I'll be like what if it was here anyway but I think it was like 10 years ago but not that there's like a statute of limitation on 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 ghosts and creepy things happening in your house but um all right I want to make sure I'm not missing much but 13 new messages I guess I can just hold it now <laughs> so far away and also I don't want my phone to die so I'm gonna probably end it soon so I can save it and upload it huh. okay um uh, yeah and no, she's my favorite she's actually my sailor jupiter's my favorite character too i grew up watching uh this the deke dub and jupiter was my favorite then so it's been an honor to voice her so thank you um big fan of boruto thank you so much i'm glad uh can you say keegan in boruto's voice hey keegan you want to get a <laughs> i'm like Wanna go get a, what is this? Not a spicy jalapeno burger, a thunder burger. Why did I forget that? Because <laughs> I had too many thunder burgers. I've melted my own brain. Um, <laughs> spicy home, the untold stories. <laughs> Sp 
spicy home. I like that. That, that makes it much more fun than haunted home. <laughs> I got a, it's a, it's not a haunted house. It's a spicy house. Also, I learned when I was looking for homes, I asked, I was like, do they have to tell you that somebody, you know, was, oh, screw it. I don't care if someone was murdered in your house. Um, and they, they were like, no, but, oh, you know what? I should get my money back. <laughs> I'll get my whole house money back. They said that they, they do have to tell you if it's haunted. Oh, but I think it's if you ask. But I think that's such a funny rule, and that feels very Southern, like very Georgia, where it's like, well, we, don't, we ain't got to tell you if somebody got murdered there, but we do. <laughs> we, we don't have to tell you if somebody got ganked, but we, we do have to tell you if somebody, uh, if they're, if they're, 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 they're ghosts wandering around making your home extra spicy. Um, uh who will win, Madara or Boruto? I mean, I don't know what the canon will be. I'm probably biased. I'm going to say Boruto. But he's going to get his butt kicked first. That's how, that's how it goes. He's going to overestimate his ability, and then he's going to be like, then he's going to be like, get his butt kicked, and then he'll have to learn something. Maybe his father will, like, help him, and they'll, like, make another joint Rasengan, and then, you know, and then ruin that guy's day. Um, muffins or cupcakes? Um... Also, I guess Madara is not in. I don't know. I phrased that weird. Not like it's an upcoming thing. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's in the manga. I don't think so. I thought he was in Shippuden. Um, but I'm an idiot. But yeah, I still think Boruto would eventually win. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, man. Muffins or cupcakes? I'm going to say cupcake. Mm, but not the kind you get at like Publix. I, that frosting is unacceptable. Give me the frosting in the can, like the fun fatty stuff. Or give me death. Whatever. I was like, I'll say it. I'll say dead, murdered, whatever, TikTok. Leave me alone. I can say whatever I want. All right. Well, I think I covered most things. Uh, if not, what's the name of the table people you'll be with again? Uh, so it'll be, I believe it'll be Wasabi Con, wasabi con or Wasabi Anime. Um, and they, their, their logo is like a little green, a cute little green dragon. Uh, I think you, if you also follow them on like Twitter or uh, Instagram or Twitter, I think they'll probably also post something about it. Um, I really appreciate that, Ruby. You were you were a very good one, and I clearly my brain is like all over the place. So it's nice to have somebody to be like, "Hey, come back, come back." Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna probably end this so that I can upload it. Oh, Naruto, Naruto killed him. Then I guess I'll win. Because I may not be the strongest shinobi yet, but I'm better than a dead guy. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, let me, uh, well, I don't know, are you able to message? I'll figure, I'll, f I'll figure something out because I'm like, I, I might need your help. Because I don't know if I'm going to do a ton of live streams, but this was fun. So I'll probably try to do them at least more often than I have been, which is not at all. It's good to see you too, Mike. Mike, Mike's my new bestie who've been messaging and he's always being like, you're my favorite, my, my favorite Instagram stories. I'm like, thank you. I try. I try to be a garbage person and post, <laughs> and post ridiculous memes. Um, so, um, yes, more live streams. Well, I will, I will try to do that. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this one. Cause I'm like, Oh, people are probably like, what is this? Um, does anybody know how to, so if I, if I hit end, is there an end button? <laughs> am I just stuck in this, uh, am I stuck in this vortex for the rest of my life? Is this my life now? More? Pause live. No. Ruby, how do I end it? I know I haven't posted in forever. I get very excited about things. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do TikTok. I'm going I'm to do sketches. I'm going to answer Q and A's. I'm going to post every day. And then I get overwhelmed. I'm like, oh no, people want something from me. <laughs> then I just I'm like, maybe I just manage their expectations and just disappear forever no that's not exactly what I, what I think I just tend to be like oh now I'm gonna do this now I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna work on this project now I'm gonna write a, a pilot now I'm gonna work on a movie and it's just like but I'm gonna try and do it more but I will not guarantee it'll be consistent or every day but it'll be more than once a year um oh no I can't save it so I can't like post it to my um uh can't end the stream, you're stuck with us. <laughs> it's like, well, guys, we're like Gilligan's Island now. I'd like to think I'm ginger, but I know I'm not. Probably just Gilligan. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I have been interested in going back and rewatching a lot of old sitcoms because I really think there was something cool about, like, I don't know, like, I really loved, um, like, stuff that was, like, I don't know, dramedies, like, MASH and stuff like that, and, like, stuff that really, like, hits you but like also makes you laugh, but it's very human. 
So yeah, that's a really random thing to end on, but <laughs> let my phone die to end it. I'm just gonna like slowly just like watch it. My sister said that at one point. She's like, you're somebody who would either give somebody like their kidney or like, you know, you're like a bleeding heart person or you would look somebody in the eyes and watch them die. I'm like, yeah, it just depends on the day, I guess. <laughs> so I, how many times can I say die or dead and <laughs> that thing? Unalive, I'll watch somebody be, become unalive. Um, 30 episodes of Naruto in one day? Did you hydrate? Did you, did you go to the bathroom? Like that's, how do you, well, I guess 30 episodes. Yeah, in a 24 hour day, I guess you can, you can do it. That's a lot. Um, shared the live video. Life's about balance. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, did I mention, uh, I'm like, I just want to keep talking to people. Did I mention I'm getting, I'm going to get ducks? I'm very excited about this. I've been, I'm, I'm looking into like digging a pond in my backyard for them and just watch them float around. And then like, they're very cute. And cause I was looking at getting chickens, but then people were like, they're going to mess up your garden and they're going to just like eat all your vegetables and all your plants. And also they die for no reason. And they get all sorts of bugs and ducks are just like, yo, I'm a duck. <laughs> what? I like how my ducks are gangster in my head, uh, <laughs> but they're also so cute. Ducks are like only get female ducks. Yeah. Well, the problem is if you get them as chicks, apparently they're, I think they're called like unsexed or something. So like when you get chickens, they try to sex them. So they let you know if they're female or male ducks or uh, chickens. But I think ducks come just like, you get them as you get them. So yeah, I might not find until uh, later. Uh, hi, Sapphire Inc. Uh, you're, you're jumping in though. I'm about, I'm about to end it because my phone's about to die. But uh, it's nice to see everyone. You gotta train them to attack every insect they see and you should dress them in little hats. Well, obviously, who wouldn't? That's the whole reason to get ducks is to dress them in like cute little, cute little outfits, little capes wandering around. Uh, my neighbor, my neighbors had chickens though and they got on my nerves because the neighbors just let them wander. Like I'm in Atlanta, I'm not like in the country, but my neighbors think they are. So like we got roosters, a rooster who sits outside my window every morning and just is like, hey, guess what? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's like the most annoying alarm in the world. Um, and they do it all day. People don't realize it's not just in the morning. <laughs> if Vorto was a duck keeper, he would get mad. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I could see that being a great, like, I mean, it'd be a filler episode for sure, but it'd definitely be fun having him try to, try to wrangle ducks. Although wrangling ducks is pr apparently not as hard. Having him wrangle chickens, that would be a whole, that would be a whole arc in itself. Is TikTok not letting you save it? I, I mean, I don't know how to, there's a thing at the bottom where I could share it. I can enhance it. I can hit more. There's a power button. <laughs> I don't know what that does. I mean, I imagine it would end the stream. I think at this point, Amanda's gonna stay on live until her phone dies. I just wanna, I wanted, I didn't realize it wasn't gonna let me save it. Cause I thought you could save, is there an X? No, I'm trapped here. <laughs> this is like, this is gonna be like the next, like, oh, uh, was it trapped in the closet? This is basically that. I'm like the new, well, <laughs> well I was about to say I'm the new R. Kelly, but no, <laughs> no, 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 thank you. <laughs> That's a bad, a bad reference. That's gonna be all over Anime News Network. They're gonna be like, Amanda Miller is the new R. Kelly. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I might just see what this does. I might just hit the, um, <laughs> I like that he's a duck keeper. Like for some, that sounds like groundskeeper. Like it sounds like an old timey honored ancient tradition of like Boruto Uzumaki, Shinobi, son, duck keeper. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I just hit this power button. We might just try holding your screen and see if it says anything. Thank you, let's see. Potential daywalker comedy content. Yes, let's see. And it's not, oh. Send to friends. No, thank you. Uh, I don't know, man. I might just have to hit. Oh, wait. What's this button do? Real time. What is swipe to close? Oh, it says I'm getting views faster than 99% of hosts with a similar following. I don't know what that. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but they're also not staying either. So they're like checking in and being like, what is this? No, <laughs> I'm out. She's talking about ducks and dead people. Um, Hima would love the ducks. Borto would deal, he would put up with them just for her. Um, all right. I'm going to see what this power button does. That feels like a very Amanda thing to be like, all right, let's see what this button does. All right. Well, see you on the other side if I see you, I guess. <laughs> all right. 
Bye, guys. Till next time.